Good morning. Uh, we're uh, out and about. It's cold. Um, I drove about an hour from home. I'm in the uh, Capital State Forest right near Olympia. Uh, I'm at the Bob Bermont Bermont Grove. I don't know. I googled uh, old growth forest around me or near me and I came up with this and I have never been here before. Uh, when I started out this morning, it, I had a whole bunch of fog, and now it's no fog at all. The sun's out, getting ready to come up over the ridge here. So I think this is going to be more of a scouting trip than anything. I'll get some photographs, but I don't see, you know, when the sun comes out, it gets a little bit tricky. But this is a pretty crazy looking place. Uh, it is old growth from what they say, so... Uh, anytime you can get into old growth forest, man, it's just great. This is a, a pretty crazy place. I'm, I'm near the road, so I don't have to worry about getting lost. But, but yeah, so hang out. We're going to try to get some shots and see what happens here. So. So I think I found something. Um, I'm not real crazy about the, the, the light background here, but I think I can control that. What I'm liking, obviously, is the stumps um, and the fallen tree here and all the moss. I do see that I am blowing the highlights out just a little bit on this, but it's okay because it's up in this area here, and, and that's to be expected. Um, I'm probably going to do a focus stack, maybe. I don't know. There's really not much in the background to uh, to warrant a focus stack. So maybe we'll just go ahead and focus around in here somewhere, get that nice and sharp, and then just, I don't know, F11, F14 maybe, maybe F16, and just see if we can get everything sort of in focus. It's not real crucial because, like I said, the background just really doesn't warrant it too much. So I'm bringing it up to your... Let's see, so 1.3 seconds, which means that we got to start looking about anything moving, and boy, everything is so still. Um, I don't have to worry about anything moving, so we're okay with the long shutter speed. I'm going to go ahead and take a shot here to adjust my... Um, yeah, that's it. I can think this morning. Yeah, adjust my polarizer here to see if I can get rid of some of the blue tent here that may have helped okay let's just take a test shot and see what we get okay so taking a look here it looks okay like i said i'm not too worried about the the highlights there being blown out nice side light on the tree though see this nice side light right here that's nice let's make sure that we're getting down here where we're supposed to be now we got to just make sure that the log is now see now that's a distraction but i'll clone that out because i don't want to go down there and try to grab it out of there if you don't have to walk into your scene don't um something like that you can clone out but so it looks sharp so i think what we're going to do is just go ahead and do a uh, a shot here and um like i said no focus stack just want to make sure that the shadows in here don't get too dark. So I may just bump it up just a little bit to 1.6 seconds. ISO 100, F11. Let's see what we get. Oh, stop. Timer. Two second timer. Here we go. Okay, well, that was uh, that was okay. I'm not sure that that's going to really come out to be anything good, but you know, it really sometimes just helps to to find a shot. A lot of times, you know, I, I'm guilty of this. I'll come and in, I'll come in the woods, and 
you know I'll be looking around for the perfect shot and you know you just sometimes you just don't find it so you know I like to just if I see one regardless of whether it's gonna be good or not especially if it's the first one you know kind of want to take it kind of gets you in the mood gets everything warmed up you know so that's what that shot will be more than likely we'll see how it comes out actually you have will already have seen it but uh, yeah it's great 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 All right, so I think I found a composition, uh, and it's good too because the light's just really good right now. Um, what I got, and kind of what, what made it a little bit difficult was dealing with these two branches right here and where to put them in the frame without uh, making it look unbalanced. And I don't know, maybe it still is a little unbalanced, but I'll see. But yeah, this is kind of what I'm looking at. I'm loving the fact that I have these shapes here, like straight up and then boom and boom. Um, I'm not real crazy about the fact there's water down here with no no uh, uh, white water. That eh, kind of stinks. I like to see a little bit of Russian water right here, maybe some stones or rocks to make that a little bit more interesting because it's low light here and you know I don't want to crank the ISO any. So it's going to be a slow shutter speed, which is going to kind of make all that disappear. Maybe not. There may be some texture left in it. But other than that, it, I don't really like the fact that it's going to go straight across here, but we'll see how it turns out. Sometimes you can get away with that, especially if the, you know, if the composition is good enough and it's, and it's nice and balanced, which the more I look at it, the more it looks like it's balanced. So, so we'll see. But uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to probably not even focus stack this one. I'm just going to concentrate on this stump and pretty much these, this right here, I think is where I'm going to concentrate my focus. And uh, we'll see how that goes as far as getting everything in focus because these are kind of close. So I may have to focus stack, but we'll see. Well, I didn't have to focus stack after all because I think it worked all in, in one image. Uh, as far as the bottom goes, I think the bottom isn't giving me a problem at all. One of the things that I like uh, is that root, as you can see right there coming out of the water. It's a wonderful root, but it's kind of leading the eye into the image. and. I don't know, I think it works, it's good.
15 come through here in about three hours. Yeah. Have a good morning. Thanks, you too. Thank you. All right, guys, so I have found a composition that I do like. Boy, oh boy, I came around the corner and saw this, and what a crazy thing this is. Look at that. And that, I'm thinking, is lightning. Because as you can see, there's nothing else around here that's, that shows any sign of burn. So that tells me that that's lightning. That, that, that tree got struck by lightning. It has fallen over. I don't know where it ended up, but... And interestingly enough, the back half of the tree has fallen over into this other tree. Wow. And I know it's hard to see and I can't zoom with this camera, but there is some green moss right there, right there against that black char. Oh, that's so nice. That's going to be beautiful. The sun's out. It just came out. So I'm thinking I don't like this too much, um, but oh, good grief. Let me turn you around here to look at that. Oh boy. Wow. That's so beautiful with that light back there. Oh my goodness. Woo. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I'm going to turn you back around here. All right, so back to the composition here. Okay, so let me bring it up here so you can see it. There it is. All right, so. So what I'm doing is I am pretty much doing what you might think I would do. I'm going to go ahead and place the tree kind of on the thirds since we're, you know, kind of wanting to pay attention to that a little bit. Basically, I'm just trying to get this tree and or this part and this part to be balanced within the actual frame. A lot of stuff down here I don't want, which means this is probably going to be a four by five when I finish. Anyway, uh, so I am uh, that sun's gone away. I actually kind of liked that sun being there because it put a little bit more light here, but that's okay. Maybe I can hang out and it'll come back. But we're at F9, ISO 100, uh, three seconds. But yeah, I just think this is going to work. And like I said, I want to get rid of the bottom, but I think this is going to be really nice. I'm going to focus here on this. Uh, okay. All right. So that's focused. I'm a little bit miffed about this here. I don't like quite like that. That's a little bit distracting, but we can darken that down and, and maybe take that away a little bit but I do do I do want to make sure do do I do want to make sure that I get uh, the focus enough to where I get the detail of, of this burned out section here because the textures in there are phenomenal so I may have to actually come up to zero maybe even a little above so there might be two um, exposures here but no no need to focus stack there's nothing really that you know crazy going on behind that i want to include so it can all kind of fall out of focus we're at f9 because f9 on this lens is about the sharpest point and we're going to take the picture let's go a little bit lower i want to get that tree looking about right so that's three seconds f9 here we go two second timer there it is and I knew I was going to have a little bit of blowout because of the tree, or because of the, the sky in the background, which is kind of the thing I don't like about this image, but I think I can take care of it in post, is, is it's got some blinkies, so there's some brightness behind this, so we don't necessarily want that. It's, we want to try to keep the, 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 the white sky out of our frame if we can. Um, it's okay to, to, to keep it in sometimes, but okay, so... Um, I will probably take a couple more exposures here just to make sure. Uh, so I'm going to come up to zero. All right. And I'm also going to do focus here. So there we go. We should be focused on, which, yeah, look at that. We are right on the money there. Okay. So uh, this will be one that I will paint in later. I'll combine two exposures later. So we're going to take this one right here. Okay. There it is. So that, so that was what? That was uh, eight seconds at F9. Like I said, very little wind. Well, maybe a little bit. Okay, yeah, there was a little bit. I am seeing the wind. So... 
Uh, let's go ahead and stop down. We're going to bring our ISO up. Let's do 800. Let's try to get back to like go uh, 50, 50th of a second, 40th, 50th, 60th, maybe. I don't want to go 16. That's a bit high. I'll go 1600. Okay, so so what I've done is I, I have some stuff moving. So what I want to do is I want to take another frame at a faster shutter speed so that it'll capture the movement of it'll freeze the 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 all of the stuff that's moving so we're going to do that now and then what happens is i can come in later and if i see something now that isn't going to be the same exposure so this may not work i could get rid of my polarizer but don't really want to do that well, let's just go to 50th now we'll go to 40th the 40th should do it i'm going to yeah, see this branch right here is moving. So that's not good. We don't want to do that. So the 40th should capture it. Let's see. All right. Um, let's see if it did capture it. Um, hello, John. Come on. Yes, yes. Do we know how to do this? We do. It may not seem like it. All right, so... Yeah, 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 that's okay. It's fine. It caught it. Yeah, see, it caught it. It's not, it isn't bad. That's acceptable. Okay, so now, if if I see that there's movement and I don't want that movement, uh, then I can just, I can just bring that in. But the rain has started. That's a good thing I brought my umbrella, because the rain has started, but that's a good thing, because rain is always good in this setting. All right, so uh, here's the picture. I uh, hope you like it. Like getting wet. This is probably a bad idea. You're trying to lean all over the place here. Look all cool. <laughs> so that's it. Uh, we are just about done. Um, I've almost gone through the loop. I see up here where I'm going to meet back with the trail to take me out of here. I may go by the water again and see uh, if the light is any better. It's a decent light this morning, so I probably won't get anything better. But actually, I'm probably just going to go get a cup of coffee and get on home. Um, once again, thanks for coming along with me. I, I hope you enjoyed it. We saw some cool things. It's such a great place. Uh, really is. These old growth forests, I tell you, they're, they're so rare when you come across them. And it is a uh, just a... It's amazing when you're here, you know, you really, you really feel like you're somewhere special and, and it really feels like the trees are, I don't know, I don't want to get to whatever, but the, the, the trees know you're here. And uh, if you come here with, a, with a, a, a kind spirit, you know, they return, you know, and that's, that's an awesome thing. So, I don't know, at least that's the way I think about it. But um, anyway, so it's time to go. I'll, uh, I'll be back. Next time I get a video out, hopefully within a week or so, ring the bell if you don't you haven't already. Um, if you haven't, uh, you like the contact. Uh, uh, if you like the content and you would like to see more of it, please subscribe and uh, give this video a, a thumbs up if you like it. Um, that helps the channel as well. But um, but yeah, so I hope you guys will come back and uh, until next time. See you.